Hello, welcome to my channel, Wing Spiritual Clarity. My name is Wendy Wing. I'm doing a reading for Virgos. Welcome, Virgo. Hope you're doing well. Glad that you found me here. Glad you're back. All right, this is a general reading. Interesting. All right, this is a general reading. I'm not tuning into one person's specific energies tuning into a collective so take what resonates and leave the rest in the past virgo it looks like we've, we're starting with the energy of the high priestess someone who's very intuitive very abundant um this is someone who understands and is very connected with and has access to their higher self to I'm getting this is an interesting way to see it and communicate it's someone who sees that they're much more than just their 3d body and 3d experience this is someone who can tap into multi-dimensional aspects of themselves that um how uh, this is someone who realizes that their soul is much larger than the this physical 3d expression wow okay i feel like this is your energy Okay, so in the past, Virgo, um, you were connected with someone um, who created a lot of instability in your life. Um, this is someone who's not connected, not um not understanding anything really other than this physical 3D world. And what's interesting is I get that your ability to have that energetic connection, to understand things, um, Wow. Uh, it, it's like you, because of your beautiful energy and because of your ability to tune into other aspects, it creates a lot of stability. People have not quite possibly have not perceived you as being stable. Maybe you've even not perceived yourself as being very stable in your life. But what I'm getting is the instability in your life is caused by others around you who can't find their inner guidance. And so they can't find their stability. And um, for some of you, it looks like they project their insecurities onto you. What have, and then... Um, But this is like, this is so interesting because I'm getting that you have been perceived in the past by many people, even yourself as being unstable in some manners. But what I'm getting is actually you are the stable one. When you, because you are this high priestess, when you are not stable, then everybody else can feel it. But it's, you know, life isn't about being perfectly stable. It's about finding out, you find out a lot about who you are when you have a wobble and you find your way back to balance and center. But anywho, being with this, um, 
being in this connection, this person cannot cannot is unwilling or unable um to see your brilliance. I get a little bit of envy, like if the gift was if your gifts of connecting to other aspects were important, then they should have have they should have those skills and they don't. And so it feels like a little bit of a competition started here or jealousy and um, they enjoyed derailing you. And so this created a lot of um, quite possibly trauma bonding in this connection. And it really kept you from really being all that you were meant to be, all that you are. Um, and it being in this connection kept you from healing and stepping forward. I am not saying that this was a bad connection or this person's bad. What I'm saying is it, it was something that you needed to work through so you could find your uniqueness so you can find your value and your value is not set by anyone outside of you and maybe that's part of it is you allowed this person's perception of you to be more important than how you perceive yourself and maybe that's what you needed to learn from this connection is that others do not hold the, do not decide your value and your worth. All right, in present energy, seven of pentacles, waiting. This is someone who's planted their seeds, decided what they wanted to grow, what they wanted to manifest, and they're waiting for harvest. This is someone who's put a lot into the work. Someone tired. This has been a lot of effort to put into something. And so I am getting, you know, is is all this work, you know, am I going to get the harvest am i is it going to be worth it feels like right now you might be having difficulty you might feel be feeling um boy between seven of pentacles guy that's just like ugh. um feels like you're having difficulty moving forward you might be feeling a little um, lack of passion for where you are right now. It does feel like um, a lull, like waiting for something to pick up. Maybe also some of you are waiting for that harvest to happen and then you'll feel a certain way instead of allowing yourself to feel a certain way and have fun even before the harvest happens. That could be for a couple of you. Right now, <clears throat> Virgo, you are standing your ground against um, someone who's emotionally manipulative, someone who, um, this feels like this could be just happening within your week. Either this just happened, is happening, or will happen. It, you know, depends. Time is fluid. There's something where, um, you learn to stand your ground someone who's trying to 
it feels like this this person is trying to mess with your emotions to make you upset to rile you up on purpose this does not feel like someone you're in connection with it could be but this feels like um, the same type of energies of people who purposely try to get you off balance I recognize they have a similar energy, but this isn't who and the person in the past. But it's they've got a similar energy sig signature, and um, feel like this is a lesson. Will you stand up for yourself? Will you? Um, in the past, it feels like you placated and allowed a lot of, um, like just stood back and, and there's something about recognizing some type of um, person trying to mess with your happiness. They're just, they're petty. This is pettiness. This is someone who just, they're unhappy with their life and something went awry between you. I mean, this could be someone you, you have to work with, someone you hired, someone, um, I feel like you're kind of bound to work with this person for some reason and you can't get around it. And they kind of know that you're stuck with me. So I'm going to make this as miserable as possible, but there's something really beautiful. Why this is happening is that you get to teach, show yourself. It's not about this person. You get to show yourself what it feels like to stand your ground. And um, I do not feel that you end up, it, it's not about this person and what they're doing. It's about you. And being really proud of yourself at the end of the day with making something happen. Wow, it feels really good. Um, in the center of your reading is the emperor. This is your a message from your higher self. You're really coming into a strength, creating structure, discipline, what I like about this Virgo is that there's the divine feminine energy in your past energy here. And then your higher self is um, putting a spotlight on your masculine, divine masculine energy. So this isn't about gender. When I'm talking about energies, divine masculine and feminine energies, I'm talking about the energies we all have access to. It has nothing to do with gender. Feminine energies have a certain quality. Masculine energies have a certain set of qualities. And we all have access um, to those. All right. So. I feel like what with the the standing your ground whatever's happening in present time um you're showing yourself how far you've come that you are in that emperor mode that um in the past it might have been really easy to manipulate you and push you around and um you were often acquiescing to others and now you're using more of a discernment of when to stand up for yourself and what battles to choose but it feels like there is a battle that you choose to stand your ground with in current energy all right so Oh, 
okay, what I'm getting is that you are learning more and more um, that you, how to work with, how to not deal, that, that the people, where do I begin? This past energy, this past connection that was very destabilizing, it looks like your higher self is wanting you to see, wanting you to notice that you no longer choose that type of energy. That type of energy, that person and that type of energy is no longer uh, an option for you. That um, you're not drawn to sneaky behavior. People who are um, deceptive and trying to get away with something. Um, they also, they can't, they're not going to enjoy your energy because you have learned how to um, stand up for yourself. And that is not a good fit because this energy likes pulling the wool over other people's eyes and moving, making move, movements in the dark and you've embered up and you're like, no, no, thanks. I see this. And what's really beautiful that your higher self wants to celebrate. This is a victory for you. This is a huge victory to be able to stand your ground. Um, and, and like who you are at the end of the day, being very proud of how far you've come. Your challenge right now is the wheel of fortune. The wheel's been showing up today in the readings. Um, challenges realizing that the, the tides are shifting, the winds are changing, that things are different, that things, I feel like you have experienced a lot in life, the wheel of fortune in reverse. And um, can you get into a mode of not waiting for the other shoe to drop, not waiting, not believing, you know, things will always be horrible or things, you know, yeah, they're fine for a little while, but then something's going to happen. There's something about how can you really take advantage of an energy shift and things going your way? How can you use the momentum of standing your ground and really loving yourself to be the norm instead of a once in a lifetime type of, or just very rare event. Some of you might feel um, disconnected. Um, hmm. Disconnected from your higher self, disconnected from other aspects of you. You know, that's where the reading began is you being very connected with so many aspects. And if you are experiencing a time right now where you feel disconnected, you don't feel that you're getting um, messages from spirit and guidance like you have in the past. Um, oh. Uh, uh, some of you are, are, are getting guide changes. You're, you're shifting your vibration and you're going to get, so it seems like this is like a distressing at first distressing that you're not feeling this connection and this is very upsetting. I, I don't feel the, the messages coming in. Wow. 
it doesn't feel like a long time. And it definitely helps once you realize not to be afraid. Be not afraid. <laughs> this is something really amazing. This is a, an amazing tower when um, there are disconnections and there are guides who've been with you for a long time at a certain vibration, but you you need higher vibrating guides. Um, and this is going to blow your mind. The challenge is to not think that's uh, not spiral into fear and worry about this. Your challenge is to um, make space. And um, for these new amazing guides, I keep repeating it. So I guess that's the end of the message. This is wow. Wow, Virgo. This feels really beautiful. Let me know if this resonated with you. Would love to hear um, anything you want to share in the comments. Um, if this was your reading and you enjoyed it, I would appreciate a thumbs up. And uh, if you haven't subscribed already, go ahead and hit that subscribe so you get more of these readings in your feed and you help me grow my channel. So, all right. Wow. Take care, Virgo. Bye.